Hey guys, uh, Jake Chamberlain here with DNJ Septic Services. Um, I wanted to address a, a common question that we get. Um, a lot of people will ask, how long is my drain fill going to last? And the answer is, that depends. Um, there, there's a lot of variables that go into how long a septic system is gonna, going to last. Um, but I've kind of narrowed it down to um, a few of the major variables um, that, that you want to think about and that are really going, going to affect um, how long that drain field lasts. Um, so the first one's real obvious. It's uh, proper installation. So it, you know, if the drain field isn't installed correctly, it's not going to last very long. And most, most of the time when a uh, drain field fails real early, early on in the uh, life of the system, that is caused by uh, something major, uh, some major insulation error. Um, either the, the, the pipes were not set level um, or the header was, was off. So it was pouring all the, the effluent to one section of the drain field. So it, uh, wasn't being distributed to the entire drain field like it should, uh, things like that are, would be a, a, a real big problem right from the get go. Um, the second one is getting a uh, good quality maintenance of the septic tank. Um, this is where you, you want to make sure that you hire a, a reputable um, pumper or hauler. Um, you want to make sure that uh, when they clean the tank, it's getting cleaned properly. And that means that it's getting pumped all the way to the bottom. All the solids are being removed. Uh, that's the whole reason that, that we clean the septic tank uh, is to remove the solids um, so that the solids are no longer in the tank um, and we eliminate the chances that those solids are going to continue to accumulate and start being pushed out to the drain fill. Um, you also want to make sure that the uh, septic tank is getting inspected every time it gets cleaned. Um, the big thing that we want to check is make sure that the outlet device is attached and it's doing its job protecting the drain field. Um, the outlet device, uh, there's three uh, common outlet devices that we'll see. Um, number one is a um, concrete baffle. Um, the second is a vented elbow. And the third is a PVC T. And they all do the same job. Basically, they're there um, connected to the outlet line that goes out from the, the septic tank to the drain field. And um, they're there to hold the solids back in the tank and let the clean water from the center part of the tank um, go out to the drain field. Um, and I'm going to put a, I'll put a link here to our septic 101 video that explains exactly how that all works. Um, so you can click on that and take, take a look at it. Um, if you're not familiar with, with how that all happens. Um, so getting that good inspection, um, is, is vital. Uh, if there is an issue with, with the outlet device, um, it can be addressed and so that it doesn't go for years and years and years. Uh, of allowing those solids to, to uh, escape out of the out of this out of the septic tank and get out to the drain field, uh, your your pumper should also uh, be knowledgeable in helping get you set up on a good uh, cleaning schedule. Uh, you want to take into account um, the size of the septic tank, um, the number of people that are in the home, uh, as well as uh, the water use practices uh, of the household. Uh, the more water that gets used in the house, uh, the more often the tank should be cleaned. If they're a real conservative uh, household with their water use, um, that can sometimes allow us to, to uh, get a longer period of time between uh, tank cleanings. So the next variable is um, use of the system. And this is the, the number one variable that homeowners can control themselves. And this really, um, Mostly this comes down to what's going down the drain and how much water are we using in the house and how, and how are we using that water throughout the day. So as far as the water use goes, uh, it's best to use the water in small doses and give long rest periods between uh, each water use. And what that does is uh, allows good settling in the tank to happen and 
the, basically what's happening in the tank, the solids that, that accumulate are going to float to the top or sink to the bottom. And when we give that good rest period between water use, it allows those solids to stay separated and we get this clean, clear zone in the middle of the tank. And those outlet devices that, that we talked about allows that middle part of the tank to pass on. And so the better we can keep those solids separated in the tank, the cleaner water we'll have in the center part. And so the cleaner water uh, will be going out to the drain field. And that's critical in uh, getting as much life out of the system as possible. So that water use is huge. And then we also want to think about what's going down the drain, what's getting flushed in the toilet, what's going um, down the garbage disposal. Um, you know, anything as far as baby wipes, feminine products, uh, food waste in the, the garbage disposal, um, cigarette butts, condoms. These are all common things that we come across when we're cleaning septic tanks and none of them should go down. Uh, they can all be uh, harmful to the system and absolutely affect the longevity of the system. So those, those are the, the, the big variables uh, that will affect uh, the life of a system. And again, the proper installation, uh, maintaining uh, quality cleaning of the septic tank and making sure you're on a good uh, cleaning schedule uh, so that we, we don't allow those solids to build up uh, too much between cleanings. Um, and then that use of the septic system and, and being aware of what's, uh, what's going down the drain. So be mindful of of these variables uh if you know everybody everybody wants to get as much life out of the system as they can um replacing a septic system can be very costly uh so keeping these things in the back of your mind you know talking about it with your kids you know make sure that your family's aware of you know how how does this system work and why why is it that we can't grind up those chicken bones in the uh garbage disposal how come when everybody's taking showers in the morning, we can't run the dishwasher and the laundry all, all at the same time? You know, those just just being, you know, actively aware of these variables uh, will help uh, help you get as much life out of the system as you can and um, put off uh, having to uh, incur those costly repair bills. So. Um, I appreciate you guys listening, and uh, I hope that was some helpful information for you, and uh, we'll see you again in the future. Thanks a lot.